Hello, it's Steve Lykin with Rockwell Automation, and today we will take five to learn about the new Swifty Reconfigurable 3D Sensor. If you had a fraction of a second, how would you detect a missing curtain? Maybe a missing product. Maybe a missing component on that product. How would you detect the fullness of something if the product is irregularly shaped, doesn't lay consistently, or doesn't lend itself to measurement of flow or weight? Do you have a problem detecting absence or presence or measuring height when the placement is inconsistent or maybe is being conveyed? Do you find it difficult to detect products of different length if the size or the placement is inconsistent or if it's hollow and doesn't lend itself to using ultrasonic or laser measurement? To solve these and many other complex applications found in industry, I'd like to introduce you to Swift E, a new 3D sensor using time of flight technology that connects seamlessly into our integrated architecture. Time of flight is not new. It is already used in ultrasonic and laser measurement, but unlike reflecting a single signal off of an object, Swift E measures over 300,000 distances in its field of view. Now a controller doesn't know what to do with over 300,000 measurements, so we let you define up to 64 virtual sensing zones, as you can see on the right side of the screen. Within each zone, Swift E will typically make a few thousand measurements and provide the average height or distance within that zone to the controller. With this type of configurable flexibility, you can see how easy it is to detect multiple objects and make multiple decisions simultaneously. Finally, you can save up to 255 templates, thus covering many different applications. Now let's go into an active Swifty system and see how a single 3D sensor can help solve these complex applications. On the bottom left, we have the case of beverage bottles. On the top left, we see height representations as seen by Swift E using those virtual sensing zones we just talked about. For example, sensing zone number one showing a height of 20 centimeters, which then on the right side, we see the data table in the controller showing that same 20 in both the controller and the panel view for that virtual sensing zone. Now let's go back to these virtual sensing zones. For clarity, it only defines six, but we could easily have defined 24 for every bottle, four for every carton, etc. So the top, the first three show these top three bottles. And if one was missing, we would see that measurement, which was about 20, now down closer to zero. And virtual sensing zone number four is, is looking past the bottle cap and seeing the height of the material. And you can see that it's missing the cap. Likewise, zones five and six are looking at the cartons. So if one was missing, what was previously about 15 centimeters is now showing about two. Detecting odd-shaped content is surprisingly easy for Swift E. In this case, we have one zone with several thousand calculations providing the controller with the average height in our box. As you can see while we add this, when Swift E does all the hard work, the controller has it quite easy. This sensor also makes short work of detecting objects of unknown size or position. For instance, we have some virtual sensing zones along, let's say, a conveyor here, or maybe a cutting rail. And let's see that we're sensing absence or presence, or in this case, you can look at the length because I see presence in these sensing zones. And then from there, the controller can make the decision on the type of product that's there. Thank you for the time to take five to learn about our Swift E reconfigurable 3D sensor. Think of all the complex applications that just became easy, such as verifying case presence or pallet pattern, maybe product spacing on a conveyor. For more information, please go to odosimaging.com or bring your complex applications to your local Rockwell Automation representative or distributor.